Hi guys, Robbie 46 and welcome yourselves to a very special episode of MotoGP 15 Career Mode. Now, I did say guys that when I hit a thousand subscribers that I would do a Q&A with you guys. And uh, last Thursday we hit that magical 1000 subscriber mark and you guys have been sending in your questions even since uh, 975 subscribers. And uh, I'm going to answer them all in this video, but first of all I'd just like to say thank you all so much for your support. And uh, I never thought I'd hit a thousand, never even thought I'd hit ten subscribers. But uh, like I said, it was my birthday on Thursday, so let's start off with the first question, which is, how old are you? I am 25 now. Um, like I said, it's my birthday on Thursday, so I've only just turned 25. But sadly, I am halfway to 50 now, which sucks. What is your favourite racer besides Rossi? Um, being a Brit, I like all the British riders uh, in MotoGP. Um, Marco Simoncelli is one of my favourites. I know that he's not around anymore and it's sad to see that we'll never know quite how good he, he would have been. But uh, at the moment it's got to be Andrea Inone just because of how impressive he's been this year. Uh, he stopped his crash in and uh, he's just really fast at the moment. And it's good to see. Would you ever consider doing a collaboration video with other MotoGP or YouTubers? Yes, I would. Um, it's something I have said in the past that I would love to do. Um, as long as it's with the right people, um, then... I mean, if it is with the right people, it's going to be fun. I'm going to enjoy it and uh, probably do more of it. So, yeah, I would. When do you think Rossi should retire? What's your favourite track? My favourite track is Mugello, as you guys, most of you will already know. Um, it, it suits my play style pretty well. Um, and I just love the track. Rossi retiring. Uh, never in my eyes. He should continue racing until he's 90. But um, in all seriousness, I know that Rossi has said that he's a bit worried that Yamaha might not um, renew his contract after next year. But uh, if he wins the title this year, that will be his 10th uh, world title. And, um, you know, as long as he's still competitive next year, I think that's when we'll find out whether he should retire or not but if he's still competitive then there's no reason why he shouldn't just continue if he can still fight for the title and still be at the front then yeah no reason why he should retire yet what is your favorite ever motorcycle game that you've ever played for me that would be Taurus Trophy on the PS2 just because it was way ahead of its time um, I love the fact that you could create your own riding style and it was even more advanced riding style creator than Ride, uh, what we've got at the moment. Um, I know it was only you against three other AI riders and it was always a rolling start, but it was a lot of fun to play. And uh, when you uh, got the enduro bikes and unlock unlocked them, it was uh, a real good laugh and I really enjoyed it. If you could have any bike, what would it be? Um, that would... I mean, for a lot of people, probably be a MotoGP bike because could you imagine turning up at a bike meet and, and then like everyone's got their super bikes or Taurus or uh, their cruisers and whatever, and then you turn up on a full blown MotoGP bike and be like, uh, check out this bad boy. But um, road bike for me, because I got a soft spot for uh, Suzuki, it would have to be a Suzuki GSXR 1000 just because I love that bike. Do you find the GP game strenuous? For some reason I always feel really tired even after a few three lap races. Uh, not really, I don't find it tiring or anything. Stressful and frustrating, yes. Uh, especially when I do these videos where I'm starting dead last on the grid. Around really tight and twisty tracks, it's really difficult to get past the AI because they are really dumb. Um, they have got a bit better but they're still pretty stupid. They have no spatial awareness of you whatsoever. So if you go underneath them, they won't move. And a lot of the time, it can result in yourself crashing uh, from a bit of contact. Which MotoGP bike do you like the sound of most? That would be the Yamaha M1. Um, just because it's a really deep, dirty sound. Um, I always love it when they do onboard cameras with uh, any of the Yamahas. They just sound so nice. Um, and you can always tell it's a Yamaha as well, especially when you... Uh, like when I go to Silverstone, you can always tell when uh, a Yamaha's on track because of the base. 
What do you think of the Dutch TT circuit and what is your favourite circuit? Uh, favourite circuit, as I've already said, is Mugello. Uh, Dutch TT Assen circuit is a great circuit. I love it in the game. And uh, to watch, it um, always throws up some really good racing as we've seen this year in all three classes. And obviously we saw that uh, controversial La Chicane um, clash between Marquez and Rossi, which as some people are still um, talking about. But uh, let's go on to the next one. A lot of people have been asking uh, what my settings are and also who my favourite BSB rider is. BSB rider, um, for me, it's... I have to think about it, but for me, it's got to be um, James Ellison. He's got to be one of the most unlucky riders out there, but what, on his day, he's really fast. Um, but my, uh, my setup, really... For me, I always start with the uh, default setup and then just start changing one thing at a time. And uh, when you start getting a difference in lap times, uh, keep it and then change something else. Don't change more than one thing at a time, otherwise you don't know what's making the difference. Uh, what is the first MotoGP game that you play? Keep up the good work. Thank you. Um, first MotoGP game I played, I think it was MotoGP 2 on the PS2. Is a Konami game. Um, that was back in the day. That was still the 500s then. Um, but yeah, that was the first MotoGP game I played. Um, I think it was MotoGP 2 anyway. I could be wrong. Um, if you're riding MotoGP, which would you take? Yamaha, Honda or another? In the game, what I want to do is start off on the Suzuki. Um, and then go to Yamaha or something. In real life... Uh, obviously it would be the Yamaha, just because, I mean, it's a beast of a bike. Congrats on a 1,000 uh, subs. Question, when do you think Danny Pedroza will retire? Surely Honda don't want someone finishing 5th to 8th and battling for those positions because there is younger talent to give it to. I do agree to some extent. I mean, Danny Pedroza has been on the Repsol Honda for like, I think it's 11 years now. And uh, personally, I don't think he's ever going to win the MotoGP title now. So, um, has he had his fair chance? Yes, I think he has. So, personally, I think maybe he shouldn't retire, but maybe go on to a satellite Honda and then maybe make way for a faster rider coming through. Um, maybe like, I don't know, someone. Will you have you been to the Alaman TT and what do you think of road racing games and BSB? And also loads of people, do you own a bike? So at the moment I don't own a bike. Um, I did used to own a Honda 125R when I was 17. Um, great little bike, loved it. Um, and popping wheelies when I kept slipping the clutch was uh, quite fun. But uh, at the moment just due to money situation, no I don't have a bike. Uh, Alaman TT, love the circuit, would love to go one near, um, I don't know when, but I definitely would love to go sometime. Um, Alaman game, maybe not just Alaman game on its own, because that would just be one track in a game, as good as the TT track is. Uh, maybe just a, a pure road racing game with the Alaman TT in it, and like the Macau GP and all that. Um, so you got loads of uh, road racing tracks in it. I think that would be good. BSB, I'm not so sure. Mainly because, as we all know, motorbike games have a niche audience um, and nowhere near as popular as car racing games. And um, obviously BSB isn't as popular as, say, MotoGP or World Superbikes. So for that, I don't think it would sell very well, even if they've done it really well and... I mean, I would, I would still play it, but I just think as a popularity kind of thing, um, it wouldn't do so well up against, say, MotoGP, just because the audience isn't as big as MotoGP. Um, don't get me wrong, I love BSB. I'm going to Thruxton at the beginning of next month. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, it, I think they did do something like that a while ago I, I don't know if it was a, a British Superbike game but uh, it was something along those lines a little while ago but I don't think it done that well just because purely of the audience um, not being that big 
Uh, do you plan on getting in into any league races with uh, GP15 as you did with 14? If so, you've got a big fan base behind you. Um, yes, I, I will do some some sort of league racing at some point. And uh, something I do want to start doing as well is uh, kind of doing like a subscribers championship as well for all you guys. Uh, and we can all play together and uh, sort out our own kind of championship. I think that would be really good. Um, so yeah, I do, I do want to start. I did want to do it on Ride, but just because of the lagginess of Ride, I couldn't. What do you think of the Red Bull Rookies Cup? I really like it because a friend of mine rides on it. That's awesome. Um, I really like the Red Bull Rookies, actually. Um, when we go to Silverstone, we always stay behind uh, to watch the Red Bull Rookies just because it's it's a really good breeding ground for young talent um, because they're all on identical bikes and it just purely comes down to a bit of setup and, uh, you know, rider talent. And uh, obviously the best riders always come out on top. And, um, yeah, so, yeah, I really like the Red Bull Rookies Cup. Do a face reveal, reveal for 5,000. Ha ha ha. Or even 1k. Um, I will eventually. Uh, not yet though. Because um, what I do want to do eventually is maybe get a decent webcam. And uh, then I can, uh, like, you guys can watch me whilst I play. Or something like that. I don't know. Can you do a Moto2 race with Sam Lowe's at any track? Yes, I can. I can indeed. Do you think the Suzuki's are doing well with MotoGP and uh, do you have a road bike? Uh, no to road bike. Suzuki's and MotoGP, I think they're doing really, really well considering obviously their first season, full season back. Um, and both riders doing a really good job. They're 1 2 in uh, a bit earlier in the season and qualifying was really good. Uh, they just need a bit more power, but uh, they're getting there. Do you watch other motorsports? Yes, I do. Um, I love motorsport as it is, um, obviously any form of motorbike racing, uh, Red Bull, uh, cross fighters, or X fighters or whatever you want to call them. Um, F1 I watch occasionally, I wouldn't say I watch it religiously like I do MotoGP, uh, just because obviously the races are a lot longer and uh, yeah, but uh, World Rally Championship I quite like and Rally Cross. I've been to a few rallies in the past as well. Uh, happy birthday. Still enjoying your videos. Well presented. Cheers. Thank you very much. Um, I'm glad you guys are still enjoying my videos after all this time. It's, uh, I like the fact that you guys still enjoy my videos and still come back to watch them. Um, um, obviously that's the main reason why I carry on making them. Because I know that you guys enjoy them. Um, we're always getting new people coming to the channel now. We had a few trolls um, a few weeks ago, but uh, you know everyone seems to just ignore them like you should, and uh, that's that's the best way um, because obviously they thrive on uh, on reaction. So uh, if you do come across anyone giving like any abuse to anyone or just for no reason, um, just ignore them, and uh, yeah, but. Like I said, guys, thank you so much for all your support over, well, all the time that I've been doing um, YouTube. I know there's still people that uh, subscribed to me very early on. They are still here and still commenting. And uh, I really appreciate that and I uh, appreciate every single one of you. Um, my channel wouldn't be what it is without you guys. And uh, it's something I love doing. I enjoy doing it. And um, like I said, I enjoy the fact that you guys enjoy it as well and uh, I will continue doing it and um, I love getting you you guys involved as well I try to get you involved as much as I can uh, whether it's just like voting on stuff or or playing or anything asking questions I, I probably will do a Q&A again at some point because I was quite amazed with how many people actually ask questions um, like I said before, I didn't want to do it when I first started off YouTube, like when I had like 100 subscribers, because I personally, doing it that early, it's a bit pointless, because I knew that I would have only got maybe like one or two questions, but now that we're at the uh, magical 1,000 subscriber mark, um, that's when I thought it'd be best to do it. 
So uh, the standards at the moment, Marquez has gone into the lead, joint with Valentino Rossi in the MotoGP class. And then we'll go on to Moto2, where Sam Lowe's is still leading from Tito Rabat by three. So really tight in the, the top two classes. And uh, Moto3, I've not had the best results. So uh, it's actually down to 18. That ain't good. Well, that ain't good at all. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your support and everything. Don't forget to leave this video a like. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.